What's going on everyone? Today we are taking a look at the SwitchBot Lock Pro. This is a retrofit smart lock that installs right on top of your current lock. So a lot of companies know how to make a good smart lock when it comes to the tech side of things, but unfortunately the locks themselves are usually not that great. But this here allows you to use whatever lock you want, including the top and most secure lock out there and instantly upgrade it with advanced smart features. All right, so taking a look inside the box, you have your mounting plate and a magnet, some various installation hardware. Then they also include a small screwdriver as well. You have your user manual. And then last but not least, you have the actual lock itself. I'll go over installation shortly, but overall, this is extremely easy to install. Basically, if you can work a screwdriver, then you can definitely install this lock as well. So taking a look at the lock itself, this is definitely a very nice looking lock. A lot different from anything else out there. I love the all matte black look. Feels like a very good and solid construction. So as you can see, you have nothing on the front of the lock. All you have is this dial here, which is to lock or unlock the door. And then you also have a button there, which I'll explain and go over later. Right down here, you have a magnetic latch. It's also metal as well. And inside here, you have your battery pack. And this takes four AA batteries, which gives you up to nine months of battery life. And then you can also purchase a rechargeable battery pack on their website, which extends your battery up to 12 months. Beside the lock, I also have their optional keypad. Then right here, I have their mini hub as well. These both add a lot more features to the lock, but I'll go over that later in the video. All right, so as I said earlier, getting this installed was very easy. First, you want to remove the interior handle to your lock. Inside the box, you have a few adapters. Just try them on until you find the one that fits the metal rod. After that, make sure it's turning and locking properly, which it should since all you did was change the handle. Next, you'll mount the main box on top, insert four screws, and lastly, mount the included magnet next to the lock, which is what tells it when the door is open or closed. Once again, it's definitely a very easy install that most people should be able to get done in about five to 10 minutes at the most. As I showed earlier, I also have the optional keypad, which does not require any installation. You simply mount it where you want it, sync it up in the app, and that's all there is to it. All right, so once you get it installed, this is what it looks like. As I said earlier, the keypad is completely optional. So if you like, you can just add the smart lock functionality from the inside and still have it look like a regular ordinary lock from the outside with no keypads or anything else out there. All right, so taking a look at the lock from the inside, you have a few different ways you can lock or unlock this. First off, you can just turn the knob and use it like a regular lock. Very simple and easy for anyone to do. Next, and one of my favorites, is the quick key. So in the middle here, there's actually a button, and all you have to do is click this, and it'll automatically lock or unlock the door for you. Definitely a great feature as they took something as simple as turning a knob and found a way to make that even easier. So this does have auto locking where it'll automatically lock the door for you after a set amount of time. A lot of smart locks have this, but the problem is when you want to disable it, you have to take out your phone, go in the app, and it's just a whole process that makes it more of an inconvenience. With this one, it's a lot easier. All you have to do is simply hold down this button for two seconds. And just like that, it'll now pause the auto locking features. So overall, I feel like SwitchBot not only thought about what features to include, but found ways to make sure it all felt natural and easy to use as well. All right, so coming to the outside, we still have the regular lock. So if you want it, you can still unlock it using a regular key. Then of course, we now have a few new ways to unlock it as well. First off, we have the app. Simply click the big button in the middle and that'll lock or unlock the door. Next up, we have the keypad where you can program a bunch of different codes. In this case, my test code is one, two, three, four, five, six. Here in the bottom, you have a fingerprint reader where you can program up to 100 fingerprints. So once you have it programmed, very simple, just tap your finger on it. And just like that, it'll quickly and easily unlock your door. Lastly, the keypad also comes with this NFC card. And to unlock with this, you simply tap it onto the keypad. Definitely a great alternative to a key as you still need a physical something to unlock the door, but don't have to fumble around with actual keys or trying to figure out things in the dark. 
Only one of these is included with the keypad, but if you wanted more, you can also purchase additional cards on their website as well. So if you have the keypad and mini hub like I do, you get a total of 15 different ways to unlock this. This includes the keypad, fingerprint, Apple Watch, voice, and a lot more. I'll throw an image up on the screen so you can see what they all are as well. So taking a look at the app, this is what it looks like. As I showed you earlier, big button in the middle to lock or unlock it. Coming to the top, you have a few different settings you can change. So on basic settings, you have the indicator light, sound, on or off. And then you can also uh, have it confirm when it's locked. Quick key settings, that's what I showed you earlier, where you tap that button in the middle. You could disable that if you like. By default, clicking it will either lock or unlock it, but you could have it so that it locks or unlocks only. And then you can also change it from single press or double press. So if you have kids, I think it's better to set it to double press. This way a little kid can accidentally tap on it and lock or unlock it. And they'll have to intentionally quickly double tap it to do that. You have alarms. So if you leave your door open or you leave it unlocked, it could also trigger an alarm. Auto lock, again, you can put this on or off. Then you can set the timing and how long you want it to wait before it auto locks. Then you have recalibrate and cloud services. Cloud services is if you have other scenes set up where you have the lock interacting with other SwitchBot devices. So that'll go ahead and back that up. And then you have NFC settings, which is settings if you also have a SwitchBot tagged. Right down here, you have your keypad. So right here, you add your passcodes. You can add as many as you like. And you can add permanent, temporary, one-time, or emergency passcodes. You have your fingerprints. Again, you can add up to 100 fingerprints. And then right here, you have your NFC cards. Again, it only comes with one, but if you wanted more, you could also purchase more as well. And that's about it for the app. Overall, very well laid out and easy to use as well. Lastly, if you get this lock, I highly recommend getting it with this mini hub as this adds compatibility with Matter, HomeKit, Google, and Alexa as well. Still a great lock without it, but the hub really takes it a step further with more smart home integration. Overall, this is definitely one of the best ways to add a smart lock onto your home. I love that it gives you all the smart features, but lets you use whatever lock you prefer, including the one that you already have. So overall, if you happen to be shopping for a smart lock, I would highly recommend this one here, which again is the SwitchBot Lock Pro. All right, well, that about wraps up this video. As usual, if you have any questions at all, feel free to drop me a comment and let me know. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.